Well, hello, my darlings, and welcome back to our channel. I am so glad you are here. Listen, what do you think would happen if our segment of Scrapology 101 met, got married to, and had a baby with the television show MacGyver? Well, I'll tell you, it would result in the first ever episode right here on my channel of Mystery Craft. I hope you'll stay tuned to see just what I come up with today and I hope your guess will be as good as mine. Stay tuned. What could you make if you had this array of items? A square vase, two of these votive candle holders, a few pieces of these flower embellishments, a push light, a few of these wooden blocks, some cabinet knobs, an 8 inch mirror, and a 13 inch squared mirror. I'm interested to know what you can do and of course you're going to need your handy dandy tools in order to do so so let's get crafting so the first thing I am going to do in preparation of this mystery craft is I am going to add some legs and to add these legs or rather what these legs are are cabinet holders that I am going to affix to the bottom of my 13 inch mirror with some two-part epoxy that I mixed off camera now we know from working with a two-part epoxy with me on this channel for a while that whenever we're gluing glass on glass with epoxy that object or those objects tend to slide so make sure whenever you're placing your legs on you are going to preferably place them on one by one or if you are opting to do it all at the same time in an effort not to waste your epoxy then please make sure you're keeping an eye on your legs to make sure that they do not slip away so now that i have placed my last leg, I am going to keep an eye on these and allow them to dry for the next 10 to 15 minutes. So now that our legs have been set into place, it is now time to take our square vase and place it on our mystery craft. Tell me in the comment section below, what do you think I am crafting by just these few steps that I have taken thus far. Now to affix that vase to my mirror again I'm going in with a two-part epoxy and I'm simply placing that epoxy on the bottom of that vase where that vase is going to come into contact with my mirror in addition to my square vase I'm going to take two of my votive candle holders and similarly I'm going to apply epoxy on the bottom of each one and I'm going to place them next to my square vase now I am going to wait until these two pieces have been set into place and then I'm going to affix the third and final glass piece. So for those of you who craft with me live once a month on Saturday, you know where these wooden pieces come from. As a matter of fact, they came from our Japanese-inspired floral centerpiece. And as you can see, these have already been painted gold. There were leftovers from that project. And so what we are going to use these for is to elevate our second mirror um, off of the first mirror so that those mirrors aren't sitting flat one on top of the other and we are going to use a height of four of these wooden blocks one on top of the other on top of the other in order to affix or glue these pieces together I am using a combination with rather a combination of some wood glue 
with the addition of a few drops of hot glue and once I have placed my foundation foundation of glue down I am going to squeeze my two pieces together by applying some pressure and allowing that glue to set or engage now I'm not going to worry about the wood glue that has oozed out we will be able to clean that up later now once I have set all of my pieces to dry I am going to take my push light and I am going to glue this to the bottom of my 8 inch mirror I am going to go in with a foundation of hot glue but I'm not going to use a lot as a matter of fact just a few bullets on the adhesive section of that pad so that when I'm ready to twist it to change my batteries I still will be able to do so or better yet simply pop it off so now that we have glued our push light onto the bottom of our 8 inch mirror we are going to place our wooden blocks that are stacked four blocks high as legs underneath of our 8 inch mirror. To do this we are going to use a combination of our permanent glue with a foundation of our hot glue and then we are going to place our wooden legs where we need them to be. Once I have placed that hot glue, just a few pellets, not too much at all, that hot glue is going to give us our right now adhesion while, say with me, that permanent glue is going to cure over time. But once we have placed our first set of blocks, this is going to assist us in placing our second set, ensuring that we are lining them up up parallel and equidistant one from the other so once again I'm going in with my foundation of permanent glue and then on top of that my foundation of hot glue and using my first set of blocks wooden pieces as a guide I am going to place my second set down. I'm going to continue this process with my other two wooden legs and then I will be back to tell you what's next. So now that we have placed our wooden legs on the bottom of our 8 inch mirror, I also went ahead and I placed some of my flower embellishments around each leg just to give it that extra added touch, whatever it is I'm making. Let me know in the comment section if you have figured it out or if you have an idea yet. It is now time to apply our foundation of of glues a permanent glue in conjunction with our hot glue to affix this portion of our mystery craft to our 13 inch mirror and so here I am going in with beads of hot glue making sure to work fast to ensure that that hot glue does not cool again I'm working with a high heat glue gun so that helps me a little but once I have placed the foundation down I am going to turn my mirror over and I'm going to use my bevels as my guide in making sure I am placing my 8 inch mirror aligned with my 13 inch mirror. Once I am sure about my placement, I am going to apply some pressure and then I will allow this to set for a few moments. So in this section, I'm going to be moving very fast because my battery is about to die and I do not want to lose this footage. And what I'm doing here is placing three more cabinet knobs using my glue sticks to give me the desired length that I need or the placement of these knobs. Now on camera, I am using a permanent glue in addition to my hot glue to place this. Please know that I did not like the way it looked eventually 
and so off camera i lifted that knob up i cleaned off the residue and i replaced it down all three actually with an epoxy what i'm going to do now is i'm going to clean this up of any glue fronts there are i'm going to stage this and i'm going to come back to see if your guess was as good as mine well here you have it my darlings our mystery craft now tell me now that you are looking at it did you think of something like this or did you have a totally different project in mind now if if you notice I have not named it yet I would like to know what you guys would call this if you had to give it a name now of course I'm showing it to you without any of its uses in place but in a few moments I'm going to show it to you with how I would stage this and how eventually I am going to use this piece but before I do this I want to tell you that by golly George my darlings I think that whatever this is <laughs> we have nailed yet another project so here we go voila I am going to be using this as a very high-end crafting station there is space on here for my glue gun there is space on here for my tools there is space for me to keep my greening pins as well as my silicone fingers and there is even mood lighting to my piece if I wanted to I can also store lengthy items such as my glue sticks or such as my styrofoam cutter if I ever desire to use it on a particular craft on a particular day tell me my darlings did your prediction match what I actually created today I am interested I am looking forward to reading your comments listen if this is a segment that you would like to see continued on our channel, please be sure to leave me that comment as well in the comment section below. To my Danny's darlings, I just would like to thank you for all of your love, your feedback, your comments, your questions, but most importantly, and as usual, and as always, for all of your encouragement, I cannot say say this enough please know that none of it is wasted and I appreciate each and every one of you to those of you who may not yet be a Danny's darling I would like to humbly encourage you to take the time today to subscribe to our channel and if you do to kindly click the notification bell so that you will be made aware anytime any of our videos have been published as well as whenever we go live as a community look before i leave i'm going to leave you guys with the motto to our channel which is simply this say it with me why buy when you can diy and so my darlings my loves it has been a pleasure being here with you today and i say to you please 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 take care of yourselves for me know that i love you all <laughs> bye now <laughs>